Okay, I do have the drums added, but when I demonstrate it, I'll just use the metronome. Uh, but yeah, follow along with the drums as much as you'd like. And hopefully that makes it more fun, more entertaining to practice this thing with. Now, with this, because there's a lot here, this is not something I recommend anybody work up in five BPM increments in a whole session, because that's going to take a ridiculously large amount of time. And the room for error is sky high, because that's a lot of stuff to play. That being said, if you need to work things up to warm up into it, get your ears trained to hear everything correctly, uh, just get your hands moving, loosened up a bit. I would do no more than eight bars total if you're going to work things up in the 5 BPM way. I think if you do like two to four bars of that kind of warm up, plenty, plenty, plenty. Uh, another thing you can do to help you just learn this is play along with Guitar Pro and set it at 50%. So just in case you don't know what that is, whoops, yeah, there we go. So right up here, there's your percentage feature, set it to 50%, and then that'll play that at 70 beats per minute. When you can play that correctly, comfortably at the 50%, then do it at 60%. 70% and so on until you got it. All right, let's turn that back off. And I think that's about it. So the, the goal is to eventually be able to play the whole thing at the 140, but if you can't get the entire thing at 140 in a week, that's fine. Keep working at it and Got other things we'll be working on as well. I want to start working on gallop, reverse gallop, combining those things. Something I call the drunken gallop. So a gallop is two it or a gallop is an eighth note, two sixteens. Reverse gallop, you flip it, you go two sixteens and an eighth. Drunken gallop goes sixteen eight sixteen. So all three variations have some combination of two sixteens and one eighth note. The drunken gallop is very difficult to go fast with because you have two consecutive upstrokes. Uh, anyway, we'll get to that in a bit. For now, let's demonstrate this at our 140. One, two, one, two, three, four. Starting with pull offs this time around. 60 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. And 
Let's go back to 180 for repetitions. One, two, one, two, three, four. work on memorizing the four strings at a time. So we'll be starting on the E string, the A string, and the D string for that. And yeah, when you get the chords filled in for the rest of that uh, chord worksheet, just send it on over. Any questions, let me know. I'll see you again next week.